What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer here. Welcome to you guys to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, we took on this final dead room with Sniper because I needed somebody to bounce ideas off of. And it really was a very helpful experience because, oh my god, that took an hour and 30 minutes almost in, in real life time. You guys got to see like 40 minutes of it. So, thank god for you guys. Um, we did not get as lucky. Um, but let's investigate this room and see what we need to do. Um, the final dead room itself has another room. The final dead room is on the other side of this door. I entered from this door. There's no need to go back. Okay. I see. So there's lots of firearms here, too. There's a handguns, grenade launchers, and even... I don't even know what that looks like. It could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder where that, that sword called ultimate weapon is. Oh, that's a big sword. Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires, and lots of items that could be used as weapons. But I don't see anything that could be used as an ultimate weapon. I wonder what their so-called ultimate weapon is. Ah, a window. Why is the only window in this place like this? It looks like it's some kind of hidden meaning to it. But in actuality, what could this mean? My mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then, the moment I peeked out that window, huh? This is this. what I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see. So that's what that is. What I saw outside this window. If I start piecing it together and think about it, oh yeah, I see. Seems I'm finally starting to get the larger perspective of the fun house with this. Oh, is that all we're gonna get? Oh, there's a trap door and refrigerators. A refrigerator? Here. I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside, I see that there's poison stored in there. You could secretly kill everyone with poison in a way that it's considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. There's a door on the floor. Isn't this the first floor of the strawberry house? Could this door lead to underground? And based on the sketch, there shouldn't be any shouldn't have been a bunker. Oh no. Maybe what's beyond he lies beyond this door. <laughs> Things are finally starting to get interesting. Amazing. As I expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all I can separate. All the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth and all thanks to just one clue. <laughs> I know that now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling especially that window that's right everything became connected from there thanks to that window i realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the fun house now all i have to do is tell everyone about it but before i do that i should finally take a look at the file i've received from monokuma especially if it has everyone's student profiles from their time at hope's peak that's important I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Can you hear me? Hi, Ma. Can you hear me? Huh? I'm sorry. Did did you say something? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder what the elevator's been fixed yet. It's bad, but we still have to split up before the class trial, so we should call them one more time. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. So sorry. So what are you going to do? You're right. I would, I'm worried about them, too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, I think. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? Hello there. Why, hello there, Hayame. N Nagito, why, why are you here? 
Ah, uh, because I showed up. You showed up. How did you even come here? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe I teleported. Huh? Nagido's sudden appearance has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey, answer me seriously. How were you able to come to this side? Ah, uh, before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is. Uh, I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could, but I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry up! After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I leaned over to the uh, leaned, learned about the results of his investigation of the Strawberry House. Elevator's been added to the bullet section of the handbook. Strawberry Hall has been added to my handbook. Fuyuhiko's account has been added to my handbook. The wall has been added to my handbook. Well, I guess these were pretty important, especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard the rumbling noise too. But that's what I was worried about, the wall clock alarm going off before that happened. Also, the fact that Strawberry House's bu button was broken is definitely worth noting. Okay. Uh, also, uh, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. I cleared the final dead room. Huh? Could it be? You, you did the life-threatening game. Uh, it wasn't all that life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some form of Russian roulette. Russian roulette? Mm. It's a game where you load a bullet into a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and then pull the trigger. So you really did it? Man. Ah, uh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So, it would have been fine if I had only used one bullet, huh? I guess what Monami said... Huh? Huh? Actually... I misunderstood and thought you had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. That's how I did it. That! You only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving! Ah, uh, but I'm still alive after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What the hell is wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal? He's crazy! That's all there is to it. Ah, uh, anyway... Because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several things, rights. And one of those rights <laughs> was a freedom to move to the Great House and Strawberry House. And not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't need to play that game again. Move back and forth? Where, where would you be able to do that and how? Hey, Hayame. You stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> Anyway, I'm definitely lucky, and thanks to that, I was able to clear the highest difficulty of Russian Roulette. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That's the Future Foundation Files. Yep. Ah, yeah. In a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the Killing School Life. That was earlier file. The Killing School Life. You mean the killings that took place at Hook Peaks Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> ah, but even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was new information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read how about the deaths of people I don't even know. Right. Besides Byakuya, of course. But then, it's just as I thought. Byakia was the one Byakia we well, that Byakia was the one we knew, right? Ah, uh, however, I can't say that information was completely useless. In truth, there are some similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Similarities. Ah, oh. uh, for example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. What? Oh yeah! That go. That, I forgot about that. <laughs> the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Yeah, Taka and, uh, um... Hey. Hifumi. What do you think about these strange similarities? They are... Ah! Uh, it's pointing me towards the thing that I've been thinking this whole time! No! Please tell me that's not the fucking case! It's definitely strange. I can't think of these coincidences, especially if Monokuma's behind the motives during these murders. I swear! If it's actually- if I'm actually right and Nagito's not leading me astray. No! Uh, what are you trying to say? 
Oh, by the way. Damn it, Nagito! Ugh. The fourth Mary murder of the killing school trip, or, or the killing school life, was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us again? Ah, your complaints never end, do they? If you're going to talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. I've even learned your, what your talent is, too. Huh? Well, well, the file wasn't all, the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. The Death Seal. Yep. Indeed, it is the peak of Hope's Peak Academy school crest. Does that have information of our solely memories? How unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hayame's information. J just mine. Hi. Isn't that weird? Why is only Hayame's information? Jeez. It is quite troubling that you ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hayame was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right. But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope Peaks Academy? Uh, in a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hayame's existence is special because you were just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Well, Unlike the primary department for the main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is a reserve course students who entered the school through basic entrance exams. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, and even then, that is just in the name only. The reserve department is pretty much only exists to increase Hope Peaks Academy's revenue system. The reserve department? Substitute second string revenue stream? What is he saying? Uh, like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just need to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the Academy can o focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Though this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Right? Which means you're just a stepladder that could be, but you could, should feel honored. An average talentless human being can be put to good use for those who are known for mankind's hope. What the hell? What does that mean? Uh, perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope Peaks Academy? Or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope Peaks Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that. Uh, I Stop it. wanted to become Hope. If you that's what you're wanting to, or thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possesses amazing talents and strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have it or you don't. No it has nothing to do with effort. You've been chosen by hope to become you hope. That's know. why it's not even worth admiring. Or you were so blinded by your administration for Hope Speak admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that. Ugh. Uh, you're just a nobody with the reserve course. From the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. Uh, a nobody who forgot he was a nobody and that's all. But then I, I'm just, <laughs> that's right. You were never an ultimate and you had no talent whatsoever. I, I, I don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Yeah. <sighs> I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Uh, and now that you are, a normal, average, utterly re unremarkable high school student. There's no way that you could be associated with the Future Foundation. But if it's not Hayame, then who in the world could the traitor be? A survivor from the previous killing school life, Biakia, would have been the most likely candidate. But now that's pretty much impossible. Hey, hey are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well. It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive this class trial, then everyone is going to die anyway. In that case, would the traitor be among the killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey. 
You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained those files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Uh, are you curious about what the ultimate weapon? No. Did you find out what it was? <sighs> Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? Well, what the hell? <laughs> I'm the only one that cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I've obtained as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Uh, like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since the beginning. How many times does I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What are you saying? What you're saying doesn't make sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us what the ultimate weapon was. Jeez. Uh, I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You are right. I did go to the place that seemed to be an octagon, and I found many different weapons there, but didn't find anything worthy to be named the ultimate weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Ah, <sighs> coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you just say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, then we gotta do it ourselves. Now shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? We better hurry. The class trial is going to start You're soon. Ah, right. uh, I haven't been able to see the crime scene yet. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to my side any moment now. Bye now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go ahead. Hey. Hey, Hayame. It's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on Nekamaro's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who feels depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekamaru's case. So we're going down to Nekamaru. Because they said we needed to go down. <laughs> hmm, I've returned from the depths of hell. Gundam? Yo, Yo sorry we were late. Hey. Just so you all know, thanks to it's all thanks to me and I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See? Just as I said, right? Hey, hey. hey, were you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? huh? Oh, the thing with the compass. I looked at the whole thing... It, while I was coming here, but I think it might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion. Just tell me the results. <laughs> uh, well, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. It's just as I thought. Huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? That's well, obviously, the elevator must have likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated. No. I should go investigate Nekamaru's body. As if we were thumbing his nose at us, Nagida began to make his way towards Grape oh Tower. My. The hell is wrong with him? He doesn't seem to be pissed off or something. Nagida, what, what do you know? How much do you know? Kazuichi's account has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Damn right. Nekomar should be inside Grape Tower. Yeah, I'll go on ahead. We were a little late. Do we have to go back inside the thing? Yes. Okay. You serious? Kanekamaru, are, are you serious? Damn it! Damn it! I didn't don't know who did this, but they're pretty fucked up. Ah, hey. uh, now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But well, we've already investigated everything we can here. Oh, no, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikon is no longer with us, we cannot perform an autopsy. But Kazuichi was able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? It cannot be. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekamaru's body? Don't me. screw with me. Hasn't Coach Nekamaru been through enough already? You don't know? Have been through enough. We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekamaru. Damn it! Why, why, you? You stay quiet. 
if you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Jeez. Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh, Damn it, fine. I just have to do it right. I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is way too much. Well, uh, come on. Are you guys feeling okay, too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I had no talent, but it seems like he's not. that's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone is a little strange right now, too, but why? Now's not the time to look away. I need Kazuichi to dis disassemble Nak Nekamaru's body. We've come so far. There's no way I can I get sentimental at a time like this. I feel awful for Nekamaru, but this is necessary if we're going to be able to find out who the truth behind this case is. As he forced his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nekamaru, his eyes full of determination, and began stabbing his knife, or this tool knife, in Nekamaru's body. Huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Nagino gave it to me. He said he already had it ready before we even went to the music part. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage to the head is the reason, huh? The reason Nekamaru died, I mean he stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered with huge dents and his pants are dislocated, or parts are dislocated. Hmm? Maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well for now I tried disassembling Nekamaru's chest, but that should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekamaru's body one more time. Apparently Kazuichi finished this assembling Nekamaru's body, so I should probably check it out one more time. Nekamaru's chest panel is open. The clock's inside and completely exposed. The hands of the clock were pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set to 7.30 a.m., which means the clock was broke the moment before the alarm started ringing. Clock alarm tower to A. a.m. is a little strange, right? I mean... We should have arrived at Great Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is the clock malfunctioning? No, wait. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so that it automatically can update at the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it is an extremely accurate clock. That's right! The clock will never slow down, and it's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. Ha 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 ha! I've become a Time Lord! Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they do need to install it. Do they need to install it inside your body? What are you saying? I do not need to wear a wristwatch ever again, and there's nothing more useful than this. Any accurate, an accurate radio clock never slows down, huh? If that's the case, why does this broken clock say 7:30 a.m.? Radio clock's been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Something protruding from the back of Nekobar's neck. Maybe the killer really did press Nekamaru. Even so, we already saw this. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekamaru's body. It almost seems like he's glaring at him. What happened to Nagito? What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekamaru's body. It almost seems like he's glaring at him. You're the worst. Jeez, this is the worst, huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue, and I swear you're just the worst. Just as I thought. There's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? No. Uh, I found a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. But this is the doorknob. You don't even know? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like these scratches near the base of the doorknob. Don't think you don't you think it's strange? See? If we examine the far back door on Great Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? But now that you mention it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did the doorknob come from? If it's not the door from a strawberry hall, then it's the only one other possibility. It'd have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? Well, well it makes sense to think about it like that. We should try it out. Try it out how? No. Take the elevator to the Strawberry House, and we enter the Strawberry Tower from the Strawberry Hall. The only way we can do that is from the other side of the door, right? But the button won't open the door to the Strawberry Hall. It's broken, right? It's 
We can just repair it because we have the ultimate mechanic after all. No. Well, you're right, but I still need parts to repair the strawberry hall door. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, then there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> uh, but you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? huh? See? Just use Nekamaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Hold on, are you saying we should use parts from the dead friend? It's called recycling. It's a much better alternative than disappointing it with the rest of the junk. Right? Junk? Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? Like I, you said, I could probably use the parts to repair that button, but seriously, hold on. Even if you repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain? The door that leads to the strawberry hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the strawberry hall's side, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. <laughs> oh, you don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry. What does that mean? Kazuichi, you should go to the strawberry hall so you can repair the door. Hey, hey I'm not finished. <laughs> Hayame, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, there is someone in the tower... The door won't open at all. Right. So you should at least make sure you're not pull you're not pulling my leg. After tear or tearlessly saying that Nagito left the area, the doorknob has been out of the truth bullet section. What the hell happened to him? He seems to be on the edge about something. Who knows? Ah, right. oh, that reminds me. Nagito's asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It has something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it can mean. Hey. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito has asked me to do something weird, too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks. I... So I did the, what he did and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. But why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that faster at all. Uh, for now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Hall 2, or Tower 2? Along with the doorknob matter, there's still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries, maybe. Jeez. Looks like that's all we can do, so let's head over. You're right. About Nagito said about the door opening, what is he planning on doing with the chain? Looks like it won't come off easily, so did Nagito plan to have something happen? Jeez, I don't understand this at all. Me neither. To be fair, I don't understand Nagito like 99.9% .9 of the time either. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator's working now. Alright, let's go. We walked into the elevator and made our way to the Strawberry House. It's been a while since we come to Strawberry What's House. Up? Hey, you here? Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how did the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't bad. Once I got the parts, I was able to fix it right away. Yeah. You've got a lot of nerve saying that when you use Nekamaru's parts without my permission. Hey. Well, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What happened if you press the button to the Strawberry House's door? So. But there's no way it'll open. You have done anything about the chain. Hey. The door to the strawberry hall behind Nekamaru's body was blocked off by the chain, remember? So if you didn't do anything about that, then it doesn't even matter if it's if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, well, no, we try it out, right? It's not even worth trying out. No, we've come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, then we need to give it a shot. Yep. Yeah, that would be great. I just realized that I'm not checking my pet. I've been too focused on Nekomaru's death to do that. No way this door will open. Not when the other side is chained up. With the feeling of re or with a feeling of resignation, I press the button. Huh? Hey, hey. Why did it open? Impossible. Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold it. Hold on a sec. That's not the only thing that's strange. That's right. Uh, there is everybody's everything's in the same position. That's right. There's no other way to say it. This definitely looks weird. So... What do you mean, huh? Hey, doesn't it all look the same as when we got to Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Nekamaru's body was in front of the far back door. Which means the body should be in front of the door at the Strawberry Hall. 
So if we entered from the strawberry hall, this should be the body should be right in front of the door we walked in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekamaru's body in front of the great door hall? Hey, hey. Not just that, the parts were that were I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. The body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the type over pillars and the spilled oil, they all move the exact same way. The crime scene does look identical to when we saw it in the Great Hall. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. And as if it rotated 180 degrees. I can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees. Is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel like it's an even greater mystery. A mystery so great it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink this. We might have to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. Strange feeling in the tower has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Chain has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. Ah, oh, the chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, just as I thought. It definitely was right. The right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought, then you already knew that about this mystery? Uh, you have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating See? first? The door at the far back with the picture of the grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there. A clue on that door? This door with a picture of grapes? Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone. It's like the screw came out with it. Now then. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? See? The screws came out w with it, right? That doorknob next to Nekamaru's body came off with the door of the grape hall. Well, so that's what it looks like. When you said a clue, were you talking about this? But what is it a clue to? Updated the broken doorknob. Huh? Did you get even more confused? No need to worry. It's just one clue. We'll change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved if we were all linked together. You can reach it. Just like I did. What does that even mean? Even if I ask him, Nagito probably won't give me an answer. So it'd probably be a waste of time to ask. There it is. It appears that it's time for the class trial. To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Looks like it's going to start another class trial. Hey, hey. But how are we supposed to get to the trial ground? You're right. We can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Hmm. Um. Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey. No, well, do you guys hear something? Hear something. Hey, hey. What do you hear? What do you hear this? <sighs> suddenly, as a cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then suddenly appeared before us. Oh boy. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. All right, I'm gonna go. Just hold on, Nekamaru. I will avenge you. Jeez, at, at least be a little bit cautious. It's obviously a trap. I agree. I detect a sense of danger. Even my familiars are saying not to go inside. How interesting. If they're going to kill me, you're welcome to try stabbing your sword through my very heart. Um, now then, I shall get moving as well. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's annoying, but if Masonia is going, then there's no way I'm not going to go. Ugh, but this is so damn annoying. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went to Monokuma Rock until I was the only one left. And when I was about to take steps step forward, we were the same. The same step ladders. Huh? Nagita was suddenly standing next to me with eyes that looked like 
or locked on in Monokuma the Rock. The other than small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. You and I are just step ladders. Uh, for everyone who holds the title of ultimate, I always believed I didn't mind. But unlike you, I know my place. What are you even saying? That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. But I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't. There was no hope amongst the, all this killing. Of course there wasn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Huh? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for the hope isn't real hope? Uh, but you're wrong. Only the natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm going to accept that. Oh well. It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. There's this one novel, like, I like. It's a particular, a peculiar mystery story. Huh? A novel? A story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer. Of course, the story is written so carefully that the reader doesn't learn about the ending in the middle of the story. So the protagonist is a projection of the reader. And this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside of you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can, can't comment on a book I've never read before. No good at all. Ah, uh, such a normal answer. Should have expected that from a reserve course like you. <laughs> but I know that you don't matter that you don't matter at all why so why do i care about you you admire hope i love right. hope in some ways we're similar but maybe that difference is what making me sound emotional enough already i don't have time to argue with you let's go everyone's waiting everyone huh so you still believe you're just like everyone else <laughs> reserve course students are full of themselves Nagito's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared in the Monokuma Rock. Calm down. That's right, I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into the Monokuma Rock. There's seven students remaining. Jeez. When we're in a normal elevator, when when we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me of how efficient that elevator in the funhouse oh, was. Yeah. yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continued to shake, and descended deeper and deeper, and suddenly it stopped like it always does. And the door opened. Well, now. I understand that your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. <laughs> But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. <laughs> so sad, my chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so hey, sad. Hey, hey, now. don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Otherwise, I'll roll a dice based on a result, and I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. Hey. That's an extreme punishment. Now, then. Let's get on with it once again. Let's get a move on, boys and girls. And so it begins. I hope this would never happen again, but it's happening for a fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial is about to open. Nekamaro Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was the more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I had ever met. Truly, he was more of a man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And when he finally got used to his new form, Nekamaru's killer is one of us. Four. Five, six. Killing someone because it's only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be exhausted. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekamaru 
the, who betrayed their friends. I will never forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. And we'll save our current progress, and in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we will be taking on the class trial uh, with part 1 and part 2. Uh, and that's going to be what happens in my next recording session of this because I unfortunately have to do it uh, in the next session because I have work in the morning. So that's sad. But anyway, love you guys so much and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.